Anne-Marie Traisman, née Taylor, the 27th of February 1935 to the 9th of February 2018, was an English psychologist who specialized in cognitive psychology. She researched visual attention, object perception, and memory. One of her most influential ideas is the feature integration theory of attention, first published with G. Gallade in 1980. Traisman taught at the University of Oxford, University of British Columbia, University of California, Berkeley and Princeton University. Notable postdoctoral fellows she supervised included Nancy Canwisher and Nilly Levy. In 2013, Traisman received the National Medal of Science from President Barack Obama for her pioneering work in the study of attention. During her long career, Traisman experimentally and theoretically defined the issue of how information is selected and integrated to form meaningful objects that guide human thought and action. <laughs> Life and education Anne Traisman was born in Wakefield, Yorkshire, England. Two years later, her family moved to a village near Rochester, Kent where her father, Percy Taylor, worked as chief education officer during World War II. Her mother, Suzanne Torin, was French. At the age of 11, Traisman moved with her family to Reading, Berkshire where she attended the girls' grammar school Kendrick School. The English educational system at the time forced Traisman to choose only three subjects in her last two years at secondary school, and Traisman focused on the language arts French, Latin and history. Traisman received her B.A. in French literature at Newnham College, Cambridge in 1954. She received a first-class B.A. with distinction, which earned her a scholarship that she used to obtain a second B.A. in psychology. During this extra year, Traisman studied under the supervision of Richard Gregory, who introduced her to various methods of exploring the mind through experiments in perception. While at Cambridge, she was active in the folk music scene. In 1957, Traisman attended the University of Oxford to work toward her DPHIL under her advisor, Carolus Oldfield. Traisman conducted research on aphasia, but soon pursued interest in non clinical populations. Traisman's research was guided by Donald Broadbent's book, Perception and Communication. After three years of research, she married Michelle Traisman in 1960, another Oxford graduate student. Two years later, Traisman completed her thesis, Selective Attention and Speech Perception. In 1962, in 1976, Traisman's marriage to Michelle ended in a divorce. She remarried in 1978 to Daniel Kahneman, who won the Nobel Memorial Prize for Economics in 2002. She died on the 9th of February 2018 from a stroke. Topic: <laughs> Career. Around the time Traisman was working toward her DPHIL, psychology was shifting from the traditional behaviorist view to that of an active processor of information. Donald Broadbent and Colin Cherry had recently introduced selective listening, also known as the cocktail party effect. Broadbent later proposed a filter model of selective attention which proposed that unattended auditory information is filtered out early in the process of perception and is not analyzed. This theory was criticized because it could not explain why unattended information sometimes gets through the filter. After receiving her DPHIL, Traisman worked in the Medical Research Council Psycholinguistics Research Unit conducting research in selective listening. In 1964, Traisman proposed her attenuation theory, which countered Broadbent's filter model and proposed that unattended information is attenuated rather than completely filtered out of consciousness. Traisman used a dichotic listening task during which participants heard multiple languages and different voices male versus female. She showed that a difference between two equally known languages allowed no more efficient selection than a difference in subject matter between two messages in the same language. Unknown foreign languages, however, produced less interference. It appeared that complete rejection or filtering of one language was almost impossible, with some degree of variability depending on physical characteristics and language of the message received. Traisman concluded that features of incoming messages are analyzed successfully from the nervous system and that selection between messages in the same voice, intensity, and localization takes place during, rather than before or after, the analysis, which results in the identification of their verbal content. At this stage, the information handling capacity becomes limited and can only handle one input at a time, either keeping to one message where possible, or switching between the two. 
Thus, Broadbent's suggestion that classes of words constitute separate input channels could be rejected. Her theory was also that physical characteristics are processed early, while semantic processing occurs at a later point. In 1967, while working as a visiting scientist at Bell Telephone Laboratory's psychology department, she published a paper in Psychological Review that was central to the development of selective attention as a scientific field of study. Traisman later returned to Oxford, where she accepted a position in the psychology department as a university lecturer and was appointed a fellow of St. Anne's College. Traisman, 2000. Here, she began exploring the idea that attention is involved in integrating distinct features to form a whole representation of an object. Traisman and Kahneman accepted positions at the University of British Columbia shortly after their marriage. In 1980, Traisman and Gallade published their seminal classic proposing feature integration theory FIT. One key element of FIT is that early stages of object perception encode features such as color, form, and orientation as separate entities. Focused attention combines the distinct features into object perception. Traisman moved to the University of California, Berkeley, in 1986, where she and Kahneman ran a joint attention lab in the psychology department. From 1993 until her retirement, in 2010, Traisman was a member of the psychology department at Princeton University. She was named Princeton's James S. McDonnell Distinguished University Professor of Psychology in 1995. Her work has appeared in 29 book chapters and more than 80 journal articles and is heavily cited in the psychological literature, as well as prominently included in both introductory and advanced textbooks. Established with an anonymous gift in 2015, the Kahneman Traisman Center for Behavioral Science and Public Policy, housed in Princeton's Woodrow Wilson School, honors the legacy of Daniel Kahneman and Anne Traisman. Topic feature integration theory Traisman's feature integration theory is a two-stage model of visual object perception. Pre-attentive stage the first stage is called pre-attentive because it happens automatically or without effort or attention by the perceiver. In this stage, an object is broken down into its elementary features for processing i.e., color, texture, shape, etc. Traisman posits we are unaware of this stage of attention because it occurs quickly and early in perceptual processes before conscious awareness. Evidence for the pre-attentive state comes from Traisman's own studies. Traisman created a display of four objects flanked by two black numbers. The display flashed on a computer screen for one-fifth of a second and followed by a random dot masking field to eliminate residual perception of the stimuli after the stimuli were turned off. Participants were asked to first report on the black numbers, followed by what they saw at each of the four locations where the shapes had been. Under these conditions, participants reported seeing illusory conjunctions in 18% of trials. That is, participants reported seeing objects that consisted of a combination of features from two different stimuli. For example, after seeing a big yellow circle, a big blue triangle, a small red triangle, and a small green circle, a person might report seeing a small red circle and a small green triangle. The reason illusory conjunctions occurred is that stimuli were presented rapidly and the observer's attention was distracted from the target object by having them focus on the black numbers, thus, elementary features had not yet been grouped or bound to an object. Having participants attend to the target objects eliminated the illusory conjunction. Focused attention stage The second stage of processing depends on attention. In this stage, the features are recombined, so we perceive the whole object rather than individual features. Traisman linked the process of binding that occurs in the focused attention stage to physiology by noting that an object causes activity in both the what and where streams of the cortex. See two streams hypothesis. Activity in the what stream would include information about color and form, while activity in the where stream would include information about location and motion. According to Traisman, attention is the glue that combines the information from both streams and causes us to perceive all the features of an object as combined at one specific location. It is easy to consider perceiving one object in isolation, but when we consider multiple objects, numerous features exist at many locations. The perceptual system's task is to associate each of these features with the object to which it belongs. Feature integration theory proposes that in order for this to occur, we need to focus our attention on each object in turn. 
Once we attend to a particular location, the features at that location are bound together and are associated with the object at that location. Traisman repeated the illusory conjunction experiment, but now instructed participants to ignore the flanking numbers and focus their attention on the four target objects. Focused attention eliminated illusory conjunctions. Traisman's FIT model now uses three different spatially selective mechanisms to solve the binding problem selection by a spatial attention window, inhibition of locations from feature maps containing unwanted features, and top down activation of the location containing the currently attended object. <laughs> Impact William James discussed the connection between attention and mental processes. Millions of items, dot are present to my senses which never properly enter my experience. Why? Because they have no interest for me. My experience is what I agree to attend to, everyone knows what attention is. It is the taking possession by the mind, in clear and vivid form, of one out of what seems several simultaneously possible objects or trains of thought. It implies withdrawal from some things in order to deal effectively with others. In the early 1980s, neuroscientists such as Torsten Wiesel and David H. Hubel were discovering that different areas of the primate visual cortex were finely tuned to selective features, such as line orientation, luminance, color, movement, etc. These findings prompted the question of how these distinct features are connected into a unified whole, e.g., the binding problem. For example, when you see a red ball roll by, cells sensitive to movement fire in the medial temporal cortex, while cells sensitive to color, shape and location fire in other areas. Despite all this distinct neuronal firing, you don't perceive the ball as separated by shape, movement and color perceptions, you experience an integrated experience with all these components occurring together. The question of how these elements are combined is the essence of the binding problem and continued into the late 1990s. A number of possible mechanisms were envisaged, including grandmother cells responding to specific conjunctions of features that uniquely identify a particular object, local cell assemblies onto which the pathways from different feature maps converge, perhaps with adjustable connections allowing flexible routing of signals, a serial scan of different spatial areas selected by an adjustable attention window, conjoining the features that each contains and excluding features from adjacent areas, detection of temporal contiguity, parts and properties whose onset, offset or motion coincide probably belong to the same object synchronized firing of cells responding to features of the same object, perhaps assisted by oscillatory neural activity. Traisman used failures of binding to shed light on its underlying mechanisms. Specifically, she found that left brain damaged patients have increasing illusory conjunctions and decreased performance in a spatially cued attention task, which suggests a link between attentional binding and the parietal lobes. Traisman also cited corroborating evidence from positron emission tomography and event-related potential studies which were consistent with the spatial attention account of feature integration. Traisman's work formed the basis for thousands of experiments in cognitive psychology, vision sciences, cognitive science, neuropsychology and cognitive neuroscience. Honors <laughs> <laughs> Traisman was elected to the Royal Society of London in 1989, the U.S. National Academy of Sciences in 1994, and the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 1995, as well as a William James Fellow of the American Psychological Society in 2002. Traisman was the recipient of the 2009 University of Louisville Gromeyer Award in Psychology for her explanation of how our brains build meaningful images from what we see. In 2013, Traisman received the National Medal of Science from President Barack Obama for her pioneering work in the study of attention. Topic: Selected publications. Key works include Traisman, A. Gallade, G. 1980. A Feature Integration Theory of Attention. Cognitive Psychology, 12 to 97 minus 136. Doi 10.1016/0010-0285-80-90005-5. PMID 7,351,125. Traisman, A. 1991. Search, Similarity and the Integration of Features Between and Within Dimensions. 
Journal of Experimental Psychology, Human Perception and Performance, 17 652-676. doi 101037 17.3.652. A. November 1986. Features and Objects in Visual Processing. PDF. Scientific American. New York City. 255-5, 114 125. doi 10.1038, Scientific American 1186 114 b. Topic. See also. Attention. Cognitive neuropsychology. Subitizing and counting. Topic. References Topic. Further reading Sheehy, Noel, Chapman, Anthony J., Conroy, Wendy A., eds. 2016. Biographical Dictionary of Psychology. World Reference Series Reprint ed. Routledge. ISBN 978-1-136-79885-6. Topic external links Traisman's homepage at Princeton Traisman's academic CV video of Traisman talking about her work, from the National Science and Technology Medals Foundation.